The series that I'm doing this year for the Y, uh, Jewish Comedians, features Lenny Bruce, Woody Allen, and Mel Brooks. American culture and American comedy is, in many deep ways, Jewish comedy and Jewish culture. The thing about Lenny Bruce, everything else that he does, his political activism, his taboo-breaking use of what we call dirty words, he is responsible in part for making Jewish a kind of cultural term and not just a discussion or a description of particular traditions. You know, I like to do that because it's classic illustration in the eye of the beholder. Because I watch the people, when I get a lot of rejection, I assume that there's a lot of Jews out here. The amazing thing about Mel Brooks is that he was an old Jewish man before he was a young Jewish man. And he was this person who wailed Jewish history, who really was able to take Jewish history and reinvent it, or in fact all of history, in this kind of cockeyed Borscht Belt perspective. Spring time for Hitler and Germany. Woody Allen cut his teeth working on another great Jewish institution that became an American institution, Sid Caesar's Your Show of Shows. And one of the things he learned from there, one of the many things, was how to seamlessly combine low culture and high culture. I come to the museum a lot to look for girls. I, uh, I go through 2,000 years of great Western art in like five minutes if there are no girls here. So American culture and American comedy is, in many deep ways, Jewish comedy and Jewish culture. And one of the things that I want to do in the lecture is try and figure out exactly what American comedy is.